Hello, I thought I would do a quick little video tutorial today to show you how to attach chicken wire to a frame because I use it in a lot of projects. So the first thing we need, of course, is our chicken wire. And today we're going to be using the frame that I'm making the Christmas tree out of. <clears throat> we need our wire clippers and we need our small needle nose pliers. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a measurement from here to here, which is about 9 inches. So I'm going to cut my wire to about a 10 inch square. Actually, not a square. It needs to be it needs to be about 10 by 20. So I'm going to get this out of the way. Take my wire. Be careful, it has sharp edges. I don't have gloves on, but I probably should. I'm just going to roll it out. And I'm just going to tuck it underneath the edge of the basket up there to hold that end down. And I need my 10 inches. And this doesn't have to be accurate, just in about as 10 inches. So it's about this honeycomb here where I have my finger. I hope it shows on the camera. There you go. It's about this honeycomb right there. It's the 10 inches in. I'm going to go ahead and make a nip on it. And seriously, with the wire cutters, just follow it down. And this is so easy to do. You just clip. It's just like using scissors. You just walk your way up, clip the wire as you go. live video guys anything can happen <laughs> okay there we go that's our first piece I'm going to move that down and then we said we needed it to be about 19 inches tall I'm lay this out and I need to not start from the bottom. I'm going to start from one row up because I'm going to have to cut off a row in order to have some wire to work with at the bottom. So let's go to about 21 inches up here. So that's like right here. And cut off the excess there. And again, all I got to do is just cut just like you're using a scissor. I'm on my back porch in case you're wondering why you're hearing chickens and birds. Okay, that piece I don't need. And I'm just going to turn around and bottom off of this piece because I need to have some wires to work with to wrap around the bottom that you'll see in just a minute. All right, now I have my piece of wire ready. Then to attach it to the frame, I'm going to start with cutting this zip tie. I put this on here so that 
um, after I cut the bottom off the tomato cage, and I just used these same wire nippers to do that, I needed to glue these together in a point, and they just didn't want to stay there. So I went ahead and put the cable tie around it to help support it. Okay. Then, putting the wire on, I'm going to do is turn it sideways, and I hope this shows up on the video. And I am taking the bottom and kind of lining it up as best I can there. And then I'm just going to take these little wires, push them around the frame, just by hand to start with. Just wrapping them around the frame. Again, it's not rocket science. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be, just has to be. Okay, so now those are wrapped around the frame. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my little things here, my little long nose, and I'm going to grab it and pull it around. And I want to get that pulled around nice and tight, and then I kind of take this and clamp it and give it another twist. You don't want to have any sharp edges sticking off of it that you or a family member are going to get hurt on. That's the important part of this. So again, I've got it turned as far as I can. I'm just going to take a hold of it with that and twist it. The same here. Get there. Pull that around. And clamp on it and twist it. And you just do that on each and every one. And then when I get to the sides, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to take these little sides and you can start with just pushing them around with your fingers. Just like that. And I'm going to go all the way up to the top. Now as I go, I'm going to have more wire pushed around and I may end up having to make some clips in it when I get to the top. And this is just kind of dry fitting it to make sure before you push everything else. You can go ahead and take care of the whole bottom so you have something secured there to work with. But then when you get to this part, just uh, like I said, I'm going to kind of dry fit it here. And then I'm going to come back with my tin snips and I'm going to cut off part that I don't need. And again, this is just the first the first one. I might have to I might have to come back in a couple of times and make some adjusting cuts, but for now, I know I don't need that. I can get that big piece of wire out of my way. So now I've got it kind of dry fit and I started pushing these around the edge all the way to the top and here we've got a wire that's got part of the tomato cage in the way. I'm just going to clip that out of the way. Push this around. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing on these sides that I did on the bottom. I'm going to grab this wire and pull it, twist it and clamp it in. Just try to get the sharp part to the inside instead of to the outside. And I'm just going to do that all the way up to the top. And you can see at this point it pulls part of the honeycomb pattern around with it. That's perfectly okay. Just keep going. And this is exactly what I did when I made the lantern that's sitting here. I'll refresh your memory with it here in a second. 
but you just keep working it on up and as you need to you can cut off like I can tell right now this is going to be some excess wire right here I'm not going to need that and just cut that off and get it out of my way and I'm just going to keep going again all the way up to the top and it just doesn't have to be pretty just wrap it around here as best you can. That one, as you saw, I had like a lot of little pieces there. I'm just going to take my, here's the sharp edge. And make sure we get that wrapped around. Each one of these you make is going to be just a little bit different because the little sharp edges will be in different places on each one of them, but you get the idea that you have to just take these wires and literally just wrap them around here and clamp them as, together and keep wrapping until you feel like those little sharp ends are at a safe spot. And like I said, this is exactly the method that I used when we made this. I don't know if you remember it or not. Whoops! But it's a little votive holder that was made out of a lampshade. So, same exact process to make that. And that's all there is for that one. Thanks for joining me.